Pico the Divine. That's what I'm going to call you. Thank you very much for this. Life's more extraordinary moments, and this is one of them. And I have all of you to thank for that. We drove here from Dubuque, Iowa, where we had my Mulgrew family reunion last night. Yeah. Yes, I survived. <laughs> Six and a half hours we drove, Bennett and I, through beautiful Midwestern fields. And as we approached Bloomington, something started to happen to me. And I'm not exaggerating. Strange thing about January. I started to think, I wonder where my house is. <laughs> Could it be that? No. It would be a little bit bigger. Could it be that? No, there would be a little water. Could it be that? Oh, my father would have loved that. And suddenly I was in her head and in her history. And I thought, of course it's Bloomington. It's beautiful. And my heart started to race a little bit, and I thought, the connectedness of Janeway is something I simply could not have predicted when I took this job lo those many years ago. We're not counting. We're not counting. But she's had this presence in the world and this meaning in the world that I could not have anticipated as a 39-year-old actress who felt like I was shot out of a cannon. And I was. I got the job on a Thursday. I went to work Monday morning at 5 o'clock. And nothing has been the same ever since. She transcends everything. And she did in my life and in my career. Uh, most actresses don't get uh, an occasion like this. <laughs> I can't see her at all. I have to just take this moment, everybody. She's a little better looking. <laughs> she's unblinking. <laughs> and she's strong and very proud. So last night at my family reunion, as we sat along the bar in my brother's basement, we are wont to do when we gather. <laughs> my baby sister stood up and she said, what are you doing tomorrow? To my other sisters. So somebody said, I'm going to the farmer's market. I'm going to knit a, a quilt. I'm going for a walk and I'm going to make love to my husband. And my sister said, boring, 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 boring. My sister Kate is going to see her statue in Bloomington, Illinois. Can you all come forward, everybody who's in the collective? You should be around me because if it weren't for you, this wouldn't be happening. Woo! Especially Mary Beth and Peter, who is not here. And Eric. Who is our new Eric? Pleasure to meet you. This is the sculptor. So I have to ask you a question before we move on today. What inspired you? Was this a, a, an idea that emerged, emanated from a collective decision? Or did you want to do a, a statue of Buster? I wish I could claim that. I, I wish I could claim that, but um, Peter, uh, the president of the collective, uh, came up with the idea of the statue. Um, there's, there's a history to it, and maybe he could tell you better, answer better, um, but... Uh, well, you did do the bus, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> okay. I did. How old are you? How old are you? Very busy, though. I'm 32. He's a baby. <laughs> and so gifted. I can't thank you enough. It's really very moving. I'm, I'm, I'm terribly moved. They're, they cannot be kind enough. So it's an exquisite moment. It's a sweet moment. I thank all of you, and I, I will never forget this day. I think we're moving on to have some sort of celebrations tonight. Uh, and I'm going to take some questions, if I can. But I want Mary, do you have a few words to say? Or I just want to thank you for coming. Yeah. I wanted to come when it, when it was made, when it was sculpted during the pandemic. But I myself got sick, so I didn't. Uh, but not too sick. I then went to London and did The Man Who Felt Her. <laughs> COVID, very naughty. But here I am. And I don't know why it took me this long, because I'm feeling 
incredibly happy and uplifted by this. And so I think this is going to carry us through the rest of the beautiful afternoon. It's a glorious autumn day and into the evening. Thank you, Thank you for you coming. Thank you all, all for coming and greeting me. Thank you.